Hello and a very warm welcome again. Today's little video we're doing, in fact I'm doing it again, um, it's a code SBTE, it's a solid brass pen kit, uh, it's a rollerboard pen kit, um, it's had a slight design change so I thought I would just redo um, the video again um, to show you how it all goes together. It's pretty straightforward, the one thing I'll say at the start is um, there are no bushings for this, you have to measure it manually and you have to glue the parts together which might frighten some people but obviously it's really not that difficult at all um, and it depends sometimes as to what shape you get at the end of the pen as to how easy it can go together. Um, the way I do it hopefully will give you a clue as to um, how easy that is to do. At the end of the video I'm also going to show you the gluing in of the parts because there's a little tip to gluing in without globbing great lumps of um, CA or any other type of glue onto the pen parts and it's quite a nifty little trick but we'll save that to the end. Um, what I'm going to do first of all as I normally do is tip the, the parts out so you can see what I've got here. I have a refill, I have the newly designed brass uh, finial, I've got a spring which goes in not at the tip end on a rollerball, it goes in at the heel end of the pen um, and I've got the the brass, the main brass parts here, which I'm going to show you because believe it or not, we get people that have these arrive in the packets. I haven't got a nib. Well, if you just take the trouble to unwind the cap, take the cap off, you will find that the three parts are actually already assembled. There would be no point in disassembling them all when they all screw together quite neatly like so. So all the bits are in one section there which makes the packet look quite small but there are all the bits in there that you need. Now the fitting guide for these um, says you can use or should use a blank 80 millimeters long. That's what I've got here. It's an off cut 80 millimeters long. However what I'm going to tell you is that actually you can make it as long as you want. As long as 80 mils is as far as you drill into this end so it pushes the pen um, refill out as far as it needs to into the nib. If you want to make it eight foot long you can. Um, all you need to do is have your extra seven and a half feet and your brass end. That a bit of a silly exaggeration but hopefully you'll get the picture you can make it as long as you want as long as your internal um, drilling is only so far and to be honest even if you drill a little bit too far it's quite easy just to drop a spacer inside then the spring then the refill and it's quite easily adjustable you may even find that there are other refills that will fit in this with some internal adjustments and of course the internal adjustments with little scraps of wood or dowel rods or whatever um, can be done quite easily and they can't be seen either so that's just a couple of little things that might help as we go along um, so now I'm going to point the camera as I normally do away from me which is always a good thing down on the lay and we'll do the, the drilling um, and sizing. You will need some calipers, so if you don't have them already, get yourself some digital calipers. They're absolutely invaluable. Right, enough of me. As always, with any kit, check the dimensions first. Don't rely on this video for the sizes. I will run through the sizes I'm doing here, but as I said, always check the specific kit that you've got. So what I'm starting with is my 80 millimeter blank and I've got a centre finder in the centre to make sure I'm drilling centrally. Next I've got a 7mm drill which is going to go all the way through the centre. And that's to take the refill. And hopefully you can feel when you've got the drill out of the other end. Nice and gently when it gets to this end, you don't want to blast out the end of your blank. If it's acrylic, if it's wood, that won't happen anyway. But on acrylic, it can happen. So just gentle pressure, nice and slow. So having drilled that, I can take the refill and just make sure that it fits in okay. There's a little bit of room for movement, that's fine. So it'll take the refill and it'll also take the spring. And next I'm going to drill up here this is going to be the nib end and this is eight and a half millimeter uh, and it needs to be the length of the nib connector and with the nib end I can check that's the right size as well there we go 
it's actually quite tight in there anyway you won't, there's not a lot of room for glue in there you do need to make sure that you remember which end is which because I'm now going to turn this round and drill the other end which is eight millimeters There we go, I can test that end as well. Where are we? Let's zero those. And the nib end is 12 millimeters pretty much. So we'll measure that and we'll lock the calipers off 12.04 in actual front. This is the nib end, so we now need to turn this to this diameter. Now I confess sometimes at the start of videos I say things meaning to do them and then completely forgetting because I was going to show you a little tip with gluing and I've already glued it together and I didn't film that bit so I'll give you the little tip in a second but anyway here is the finished pen um, put together um, you can see um, how I've curved the end of the, that and the the brass part's quite a lot narrower than this part here just by chamfering off that edge you can of course make it the same diameter if you want to it's entirely up to you but that's quite an easy way of um, doing it so it's not quite such a critical fit if that makes sense to you and up this end I've done something similar it's a little bit narrower and there we take the cap off and there's the um, refill inside to change the refill undo the nib and that pops out like so the spring is inside right my little tip for gluing things um, when you get super glue and you've got a pot of it and you try and put it on a, you tend to get globs of stuff you get loads around one side and not the other anyway if you put it you just a tiny little spot of ca glue super glue or any glue you want to get yourself a paper clip undo it and just use the very tip of that to put a tiny little bit around the brass fitting part because you really only need a tiny tiny little bit certainly for these kits to glue them together and stop them coming apart um, so that's the tip paper clip and you glue in a little pot and you can just put the tiniest amount that's all you need but that's much easier than having a glob of glue that's built out over onto your nice shiny pen blank that or onto the brass parts that you've then got to try and get rid of so um, just a minimal amount so there's my tip um, as always I'll go and take a still of that so you can um, see it uh, on the website um, because we like to well, I like to make things and put them on the website so you know there's nothing there's no cheating involved you've seen me make you see me make this and um, polish it up and that's what you'll see on the website um, I hope that's been helpful um, they're really quite nice little kits not particularly expensive and a little bit um, I don't know slightly different to many pen kits maybe um, I might try and see if I can make a little stand for it um, we'll see um, but anyway in the meantime thanks very much for watching enjoy your turning or whatever it is you do in your workshop and of course do it safely until next time take care bye bye for now just before I go I had a scrap bit of um, cherry I've drilled an 11 millimeter hole in it it's just a square block sanded it down polished it up on the thing with a bit of wax 11 millimeter hole fits beautifully in there and you can see even though I shake it, it doesn't quite come out so you can make a little handy little pen stand with an 11 millimeter drill so just an idea you can make something to put the cap in when the caps off as well I guess if you wanted to but um, yeah, just a thought